Hey, this is Jeff Komar with Avid. In this module, we're going to focus on some basic optimization techniques to really get the best performance and stability out of Pro Tools. So the first thing we're going to do is just open up the System Preferences menu, and the easiest way to get there is simply go to the Apple menu and open that up. The first thing we're going to look at is Energy Saver. Ensure that you never allow your computer to sleep. So set that to never. We never want that to happen during playback or record. We also never want the OS to spin down any of the hard drives. So turn that off. Next, let's go take a look at the software updates. Now, make sure that the OS is not downloading things in the background. Also, make sure it's not automatically updating anything uh, for you. So turn all that off. Next, let's go look at Spotlight and go to the Privacy tab. And we're going to add, essentially, every media drive that we have uh, by clicking on the computer here. And I'm going to just choose all my media drives and hit Choose. And basically now, it's not going to index, create databases on all those drives, which is going to increase my performance. Okay. Next, let's go take a look at Time Machine. Make sure that that's not on. You can certainly use it if you want manually, but do not engage it automatically. Okay. Next, let's go take a look at the screensaver and ensure that that never kicks in. So we'll set that to never. Okay. Let's go take a look at the keyboard shortcuts now as well. Click on keyboard. And first of all, let's go to the universal access. Now turn voiceover on or off. That actually overlaps with the Pro Tools keyboard shortcuts. So we're going to kill that. Go to Spotlight next and make sure you turn these keyboard shortcuts off because those will interfere with recording in Pro Tools. If you click back on the keyboard tab, make sure that you use all F1, F2 keys as standard function keys so that you can access your tools and modes directly from Pro Tools. Okay, let's click on the Network tab next and go to Firewire. Make sure Firewire is not engaged for networking. I'm going to set that to off to do that. Now, if you have Wi-Fi and you're not using it, please disable it, turn it off while you're playing back or recording for better performance. Now, let's go next to take a look at our Bluetooth. Now, if you use this, it's fine. If you have um, pointing devices that you need to use it, that's fine. If you're not using it, uh, turn it off once again during playback and record for optimal performance. Now that we've dialed in the OS system preferences, let's talk about Pro Tools preferences for a second. Now in Lion, Apple has by default hidden the user library, and that's actually where we store the Pro Tools preference files. So if we go to the Go menu, we can actually hold on the Option key to show the user library. And in doing so, I can get to now my Preferences folder. So as a quick tip, you can actually drag this folder directly over to your side uh, tab here, so you have quick access to that folder. Now, if you want to permanently hide or show the user library, you can take advantage of an app called Lion Tweaks. Lion Tweaks is a little app that allows you to essentially bring back some functionality that was in Snow Leopard. So I can show the user library folder, click yes, and now that's done. It's a great little application. Now that I've got my preferences, you can see I can get to Digi Setup, I can get to DAE Prefs, and I can trash those. Now, if you want to automate the process of trashing, you can actually take advantage of another app, and this one is called the Pro Tools Pref and Database Helper. And you can actually come in here, and you can see all the possible preferences, and you can select the items that you want to trash. And it's uh, very, very simple. You can even save this as a default selection. Now, one of the cool things this does is allows you to back up selected. So let's say you have a great working system. You can actually come in here and hit Backup Selected. So the next time you have a problem, you can do a trash, and then you can do a restore. You don't have to go back and set all your preferences up again. 